What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're drawing Bowser Jr. Now you want to begin today's lesson in the center of a page and draw a curve for the top edge of the muzzle. Let's start over on the left side. Let's go up in the middle. Let's go round this out and then bring that back down on the right. Let's add the nostrils on the top. Starting on the left, bend this in and then down. And we'll line that up on the right side. And then go back to the left side. We're going to go up a little bit higher and then bring that down. And we'll fill the inside of the nostrils. Now we want to move out to the side and draw the top edge of the mouth. From this point, we're going to step out, curve the mouth coming down, across, and then up. Let's add a bracket, coming down and out on either side. Now we're going to move in and draw the bottom edge of the mouth. Starting back on the left, down, and then up. Let's add a small fang on the right side, come down, and then back up. And then we'll draw the bottom edge of the tongue. Starting on the left side, come down in the middle, and just tuck that up underneath the fang. Let's go back to the side of the muzzle and draw on the cheeks. We're going to go around the corner of the mouth, come down, and just bend that in towards the mouth. Now we want to trace out the lower lip. Starting back over on the left, step up, come down, in towards the middle, go across, and then up on the right. Let's add two small circles on either side for the eyes, starting on the left side of the muzzle, go all the way around, back in. Let's add a small highlight circle along the top of each eye, and we'll fill the bottom in black. Now let's place the eyebrows on top of the eyes. We need a gap in the center. Let's start on the left, bend this out on top of the eye, go up and hook that in. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Go all the way around and then up. From the tip of the eyebrow, come down and just bend that in. Now we're gonna layer the head in behind the eyebrows. Starting on top of the left cheek, then it's up, go in behind, round up the center, going in between the eyebrows, continue on the right side, and then come down. Now underneath the eyebrows, we're gonna add the base of the horns. Starting up here, curve around, down, and then back in. Let's add the horn on the end. We're going to step up, bend this up and out. Come back in toward the top. Do the same thing on the right. Let's add that band in the center. Starting over on the left, curve this up and down like a half circle. And we'll tuck the hair in behind. On the left side, we're going to step up, curve all the way around, up and in. Let's add a point, come down and in. Let's add a longer spike going up and then out towards the right. And then again, we're just gonna pull this in and then down. Now I'm gonna go over towards the right side of the band, then it's up and out. And I just wanna tuck this back in on the right side. Let's add a couple more points in behind. In this area, going up and out, and then tuck that in. Let's add one along the bottom, going up and out, and pull that in towards the side. Let's draw the end of the bib coming out from the top of the cheeks. Starting on the left, then it's up and then out. Bend this down, and then in towards the side of the cheek. Now I also want to add a fold in the center, going up and bending that out on both sides. 
Now just underneath the cheeks, let's round out the body. We're gonna start on the left, go this around, and then bend that in. Let's line this up on the right side. Now from the hips, we're gonna step down and add a curve. Going up and then down. From the outside of this line, we'll step in, one curve the heels, come in, and we'll bend that out towards the first claw. Let's go to the right side, bend this in, and then back out. Let's draw the first claw. From the end of the foot, we're gonna go up towards the top, bend that down and draw a straight line coming in towards the bottom of the foot. Let's layer two more claws on either side. Starting from the top, we bend this up and down, angle this back in. Let's do that one more time. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going up and down and then in. Now I'm going to go back to the hips, step up and draw the outside of the leg. Let's start on the left. I'm going to go out, round up the knee, and then bend this back in, aiming towards the heel. I'm going to line this up on the right side. And then from the top of the last toe, bend the foot, going up and in underneath the knee. Now I'm going to go back up to the top and draw the inside of the arm. Let's start from the side of the body, bend the arm going out and then down towards the wrist and we'll line that up on the right side. From the wrist, let's draw a half circle, coming down and then up, and we'll add a bracket on the end. Now you want to layer three fingers on either side. Let's start from the bottom of the thumb, we're going to come down, up and in around that bracket. Let's go to the side, draw the second finger with another curve, and then the third finger going up. I want to bend this in underneath the cheek. Let's do the same thing on the right. Let's add those thick bracelets across the wrist. Start from the top of the thumb, we're going to bend this out and then up. Let's go back to the top of the thumb, step up got that same curve. Now you want to draw the edge of the shell along the side of the body, so we step out, curve down and in on top of the legs. Now we're also going to pull the tail coming out from the left side. Starting from the bottom of the shell, come down and out underneath the hand, curve down and then back in towards the leg. Now we're going to go back to the center of the body and add in the dip. Let's start on the left side of the chin, then come around, come down, and just bend that over towards the right side. Let's go to the right side, curve it around, and I'm just going to bend that in just up a little bit higher in the middle. And then we'll tuck the end of the bib going up underneath. Now there's a patch in the center of the body underneath the bib, so we're going to start on the left side, Come down and just tuck that in in the center. Let's continue on the right side, going all the way around and then back in along the top. Let's add a seam across the bottom, come in behind the bib on the left side, continue up on the right, and step up and draw one more curve on the right side. Now you want to add that design along the inside. Let's start from the top left curve around and then in. And round at the bottom, coming down and up in the middle. And just round up the top, coming down. Now you want to trace this shape along the inside. We can start on the top left and just leave an even space gap for all the way around the inside. Let's add that zigzag pattern along the inside. Starting on the left, we come down and go up. And we'll just repeat this all the way over towards the right side. 
And then we'll finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. There's Bowser Jr. from Super Mario. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please give this video a like and share it with all your friends. And if you want to keep drawing with me, then click on this video right over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.